Knights, there's a rumor that I will have a role in Suicide Squad. Let's get this on, shall we? So at comicbook.com, it says, we know that the Joker and Harley Quinn have lead roles in Warner Bros. 2016 Suicide Squad movie, but the role might But what role might their heroic foil, Batman, play in the movie? Latino Review has some details, though they still fall into the rumor category. They were revealed on um, Umberto Gonzalez's Instagram page. According to sources in the film, Batman is some sort of boogeyman that the government really hates. Get this. Prior to the events in Batman vs. Superman, the Joker is the only one to really ever meet him or know him, and that's why he's so important to Amanda Waller. They have footage of Batman in action, which they watch. There's a bit of dialogue where they say Batman is the key to tracking down all the supers. Very cool stuff. A few things are interesting to note here. One is that Batman presence is apparently strong in the film. The rumors say nothing about Batman actually appearing in the movie. That doesn't mean it can't happen. Perhaps as a post credit scene, but there's no confirmation of that in this particular set of rumors. It's also interesting to consider where the movie seems to be drawing inspiration from and where it might point the DC Cinematic Universe. Waller's investigation into metahumans seems to cast her in a role similar to how she was portrayed in Justice League Unlimited as a government hardliner looking to keep tabs on those with superpowers and not without reason. The idea of the Batman as an urban legend is also a familiar one from the comics. It may mean that Batman will stay out of the public eye once the Justice League is fully formed. The idea that Waller is looking into Batman as a way to get the other metahumans also may hint at the possibility of storylines similar to Mark Wade's Tower of Babel arc from the JLA, which was later adapted into the animated film Justice League Doom. The story sees the Justice League taken out after the Bat computer is hacked and the secret files that Batman was keeping on the other leaguers, detailing their weaknesses for exploitation if they should turn from the side of the angels and fall into the wrong hands. So that was my best Batman animated series voice. I, uh, I'm really looking forward to this. I actually hope that he is in it. Um, I think it would be really cool whether it's a small ass cameo you know, Ben's like, they're already making the fucking both movies. Ben might as well make an appearance, kick some ass, and move on out. That would be great to fucking see that. So, um, I had also heard that, um, and some other side news, that Will Smith is a bitch to work with. Um, as far as he always wants to be the hero and the star of the movie. So, uh, who knows if Ben will actually make an appearance in there. But, I don't know, we'll see. Tell me what you think about this news magnet sites because I personally think that this is great. I would love to see it. Remember that scene in Justice League Unlimited where she was keeping tabs on them? Her and Batman was talking shit and then she was like she said something, whatever, rich boy. And he was like like he, he was like, oh like, oh you know who I am. I was like, I was surprised too. I was like, damn Amanda Waller know everything. God damn it. So Post the comments down below. Like I said, let me know what you think. If you enjoyed my video, press the like button. If you didn't, press the like button. All right? And what do I always say at the end of every video? Well, I try to. I try to remember after every video that I do that has to do with Batman. One million subscribers. Homo word occupants.